Good evening, and happy holidays. This is going to be an unboxing video for the Centipede board game, published by IDW. Little uh, context about this. I was lucky enough to interview one of the creators for this game and have it demoed for me at Comic Con. I was quite excited about it, and I um, went back the next day and was able to interview him. So I'm sure if you had any previous interest in this game, uh, you probably searched for it. Maybe you saw my video, maybe you didn't. But um, I'm really excited about this game. And I was happy to find it at uh, Games of Berkeley. Normally I go to my uh, local game store that's nearby. Um, this time of year, the city of Berkeley shuts down uh, Telegraph Avenue and they have a bunch of street vendors and makers selling all sorts of incredible creations from uh, jewelry, leatherwork, paintings, pottery, things like that. And uh, so right off the avenue, um, is the new space for Games of Berkeley. And I saw this game and got quite excited and picked it up right away. So, let's uh, do a quick read through here. Wandering into an enchanted forest, a very lonely garden gnome finds itself surrounded by succulent mushrooms. The, mu the mushrooms are not alone, though. Roaming this enchanted forest, the gnome discovers the ruler of this magic land, the ravenous centipede. Armed only with its wit and trusty magic wand, the little gnome must beat back the advancing centipede and its army of beastly bugs. In Atari Centipede, two or four players venture into the world of the classic Atari game. On one side, a player controls the gnome, exploring the forest and trying to defeat the centipede. On the other side, a centipede player eager to destroy the gnome, must wiggle their way through the other end of the board. The gnome player rolls and, rolls and spends their dice to perform actions, while the centipede player uses a deck of cards to spawn fleas, spiders, and mushrooms, trying to control the game, trying to control the game board. The first player to eliminate their opponent wins the game. Okay, very excited, let's check this out. So as mentioned in a previous video, we uh, have our Cyber Monday purchases coming tomorrow from Miniature Market. I'm not, quite, I'm not quite sure when, it just says it should be here by the end of the day tomorrow. So I might do some uh, unpackaging videos for that, I mean for the package itself or whatever, so we'll do the ones individually. Okay, so... It's a game by John Gilmore, Nicole Klein, and Anthony Amato. It's two to four players, 30 to 45 minutes. And the design of this box is meant to look like the uh, actual Atari game box. It even has some uh, you know, minor stains and fades on it, things like that. Really brilliant. And it also comes with uh, a patch one of the embroidered patches that you would only be able to get if you beat a high score way back when and sent a picture, a photograph to Atari of your score. All right. Now, uh, one thing I did notice about this game when I uh, picked it up at the store, it's really, really light. Really quite light for such a big box. So, here's the instruction book. and colorful. Now if I remember correctly the components 
for this game when we uh, played them at Comic Con. I don't know if they were the final issue components, but they were. Uh, I want to say they were foam. Not that I mind that. Oh, look at that! They've got some more uh, board games coming, based after Atari games. So we've got Asteroids coming up and Missile Command. They also come with patches too. That's cool. All right. So let's take a look at the game board. Really nice, quite simple. So someone at the top plays the centipede as he goes down. You've got the gnome down here, shooting back and forth. All right. Okay, here are the components. Okay, these are wood. Not bad. Huh, okay. Also wood. And playfully pixelated, just like the game. I've been playing the uh, Overwatch holiday uh, stuff that they got going on with me. And the snowball fight and the uh, Yeti hunt. It's pretty fun. These are the gnomes, the spiders. Wow, that's really nice. Look at that. That's quite nice. These are wood, huh? And the other gnome in here, blue. One's blue, one's green. All right. We've got the custom dice here. There's two, four, six of them. So maybe that means three spaces and draw a card. I'm not sure. They roll pretty nice. It's got the rounded edges. Cool. All right. Here we have interesting these stickers. I think they are. I'm not quite sure what uh, these are to be used for. Maybe they're supposed to go on a meeple. I don't know. Um, here are the cards. So I guess uh, these are the cards that the centipede uses, the centipede player uses, and I guess it determines uh, movement or if it breaks into different pieces or if you play something on the board. Wow, look at that art. It's very 70s looking. I like it. Last but not least, yes, actually least, look at that. <laughs> that is grand and beautiful. Now, quick uh, commentary, I guess. One of the uh, main reasons behind Bitbox being so popular was the campaign was that in a lot of games you have nothing but air. 
like with this one here. See, huge box. Not much use for this. I mean, yeah, it's nice for components or whatever, but the box could have been much smaller. And personally, I'd prefer that because then it wouldn't take nearly as much room up on my wall there. Other than that, though, I'm very excited about this game. Um, if I didn't know better, I would almost say that that extra slot for cards there is maybe for an expansion. So this is everything you get. And the board. Once I learn to play it, I'll do a review of the game and a possible playthrough. Tomorrow I should have some more videos coming. Thanks a lot. Happy holidays. I hope you all have a grand new year.